What up, YouTube? Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Alright, so today I have decided to go ahead and do a movie review for you guys, which I have not done in like forever. But um, I went ahead and started watching DVDs again, and I was like, okay, I haven't done a movie review in a long time, so I am deciding to do a review on this movie right here. Look at it. Just look at it. Okay, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. It totally sucked balls. So basically what it is, it's about a gentleman that... Um, is recruited in the Air Force, and basically his job is to drop bombs wherever they tell him to. He sustained an, uh, an injury due to an accident while he was in the air. He's paralyzed from the waist down, and he is physically and psychologically fucked up. Like, he found out that he was dropping bombs on regular people, um, when he was told that he was dropping bombs on the enemy. So they decided to um, kind of kind of put him in a rehabilitation place where it was secluded and quiet. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of the beginning of the movie. Um, now, the beginning of the movie was really kind of weird. Okay, they first off, the effects in this movie totally sucked. Like, it reminded me, it kind of reminded me of, like, a little bit of 90s effects, but not in a good way. <laughs> to top that off with everything that's going on, he has an infatuation with his aunt, and it's not in a healthy way. Like, you know how you admire a family member, um, he literally had an infatuation with his aunt. Spoiler alert, he basically kills her in the end. But it's really weird because the way this movie was directed and the way they placed everything and cut everything and put everything into place throughout the movie was all fucked off. Like, it went from basically him talking to his therapist to him all of a sudden like he's scared of spiders now and it's just really weird altogether. Um, it's basically describing his ups and downs in the hospital which eventually um, he loses it and kills his aunt. Now it, the storyline itself would not have been so bad. It actually was a really good storyline, and it wasn't that bad. It was the directing and how they placed the parts in the movie that led to the finale just sucked. Like, I did not like the way... Um, I did not like the way they portrayed certain things. Um, it cut to certain things right before you had a chance to soak anything in. It was just altogether a really bad movie. I didn't like it. Robert Patterson's acting wasn't too bad, but he was also following the direction of the director, so it's like really hard to tell whether or not he sucked in this movie. It would have been put differently, and if it was a different actor, it probably would have been a really good movie. But the fact that it was Robert Patterson and the fact that the movie was put together the way it did. It just didn't seem like a very good movie. So, two thumbs down to that movie, I'm just saying. Um, you guys can go check it out. See what you guys think for yourselves. Leave a comment below if I'm missing anything. Um, I'm pretty sure I covered the basics, but basically, yeah. I don't like this movie personally, but you guys should check it out. Form your own opinion, see what you guys think, and yeah, that's pretty much my take on that movie. I hope you guys liked this video. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you want, and I guess I will talk to you guys later. Peace.